Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here, and in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, my experience with uh, the Victory Archery Vaps. Alright, so before we get started, I do want to lay out the groundwork for some things. Uh, I'm going to be comparing uh, the Vaps in this video to uh, my X10s that I've been shooting for forever now. Um, this is not really a comparison video, it's more of a review in my experience so far with uh, the VAPs from Victory Archery. But I do need some kind of comparison and since I've been using uh, these same X10s, it's kind of easy to compare uh, the two because I have numbers for the X10s. And, uh, you know, everybody's going to probably want to know, you know, how close, close VAP arrows are to X10s. So it kind of works out. Uh, so let's start from the beginning with the VAPs. Uh, when I first shot them, uh, the first thing I noticed is, wow, uh, they seem really fast because <laughs> my sight setting was definitely not the correct sight setting. I didn't touch the sight. I had shot X10s and then I put a VAP on, boom, shot that, and it was, it was way higher uh, than my X10 group. Uh, so that led me to trying to figure out, well, how fast is it? First off, we need to, uh, you know, go through some things like the arrow spine. Uh, the VAP is a spine 500 V1. The X10 is a spine 410 C3. Uh, weight wise, the X10 weighs 385.8. The VAP, on the other hand, weighs 339.51 so uh, already you can see uh, this is where we're going to uh, gain uh, some speed <laughs> the VAP is definitely lighter um, tuning wise though they seem to be pretty similar so it's not even like I'm shooting a super light uh, VAP here um, it, they seem to tune about the same uh, for veins I use Jet 6 SV veins uh, 1.75 inch for both of these. Yes, some of the clips show me shooting with uh, the Brady veins. Um, that was not used for the testing of the numbers. It just so happened when I shot these clips. That's what I was testing because I'm also testing those for another video. Um, with that though, we got some interesting chronograph speeds. Uh, the X10s came in at 198.5 feet per second. Uh, that was after five chronograph tests and I just took the average and that was the average. Um, I did the same thing for the VAP and uh, that came in at 209. Yeah, <laughs> and that's after five chronograph tests. I had some that were in the highs of being uh, 210, 211 feet per second. So pretty, pretty cool um, that you can get so much speed out of an arrow. And uh, it really does calculate to a dramatic change in your, your sight setting and just the arrow placement on the target. Uh, so with that speed difference, I did shoot at 30 meters. I know it's not 70, but, um, you know, it's kind of playing it a little bit safe at, at 30 because, you know, it's, it's a smaller target. You got a lot of bail you can hit. Now with that shooting with the X10 sight setting of 2.3 on my Shibuya sight, uh, they would be in the gold. <laughs> when I shot um, the X10s with the setting for uh, the VAPs, uh, they were in the seven ring. So there was a good like three rings difference or uh, the VAPs sh were shooting at a sight setting of 1.9 compared to the X10s 2.3. So that's, that's a lot of clicks and that's going to really amplify at 70 meters. At that point, if I was shooting with uh, the VAPs and I was shooting them in the 10 ring, uh, the X10s would probably be somewhere around like the 6 ring height wise, maybe even a little bit lower. Of course, I, I did not uh, directly test that since it's been cold and I've been shooting shorter distances, especially since we're in indoor season. Uh, but we get a good feel of the performance, you know, at 30 meters. Uh, continuing on, uh, besides just the numbers, I do want to hit on uh, the build quality. Uh, the build quality of the VAP arrows seems to be pretty good. Uh, I didn't have any problems with the fit or the finish on the arrows. Uh, they seem to be well made. Uh, I didn't have issues where there were uh, like seams when you fit your like 
uh, point and your shaft together. You know, it all fit nice and uh, snug. Uh, there wasn't gaps. And even when you ran your finger on it, there wasn't like a ridge because on, on some cheaper brands and stuff, uh, you'll actually have a ridge where the shaft or the, uh, the point or, or, or even or the knock will actually sit uh, higher than uh, the next surface it's budding up to. And especially when you're talking about your, your, your point and your, your shaft, you want those to be right next to each other. You, you don't want a, a lip on that. There, there shouldn't be, especially with some of the prices of these arrows. I know that the, uh, the VAPs are a lot cheaper, <laughs> a lot cheaper than the X10s. Uh, but basically they were, they were the same quality. It, it, it seemed like everything fit uh, just as well. Um, one unique thing was uh, Victory makes or, or has their own knocks. I don't know if it's technically their brand or if they buy them through somebody else, but they do have uh, their own knocks and they, um, and they do take up less space on your string. So I found myself having to actually uh, fix the knocking point on my bow so that the uh, VAP arrow wouldn't slide up and down a little bit because they're not as fat as the Easton uh, pin knocks are. So very interesting there. Um, it wasn't something I was expecting. I figured, oh, knocks, you know, a knocks a knock to a to a degree. Um, like I know there's there is some variety, but I figured, you know, the thickness of the knock throat when it clicks onto that, you know, onto your string, I figured eh, that it shouldn't change too much unless you're going from a small size, uh, you know, to a medium. I didn't think the height of it would change. I figured maybe the width, but I didn't think the height would, would change. So pretty interesting. Uh, definitely something I didn't expect. Another thing I want to hit on with the VAPs is they do have uh, Victory Archery's uh, ice coating technology, and it actually does work. Um, it does wear off. I would say you get a, I don't know, maybe maybe a couple couple thousand shots an arrow. Um, I didn't really scientifically test that, but um, you can shoot a lot of arrows before it really starts wearing off. And then once it does, it does kind of, it does seem like it does wear off eventually because I did notice it would start to gather a little bit of target material and uh, things like that. Uh, but then again, uh, I don't know. It, X10s kind of do that immediately depending on what target you're shooting at. I don't think they're really coated with anything. So, um, you know, kind of cool. Uh, it's, it's an additional, uh, you know, kind of helpful thing. It, it doesn't last forever, but then again, your, your arrows themselves aren't going to last forever. And at the price difference between uh, <laughs> VABs and X10s, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty nice. Now, you probably, um, if you don't know, price-wise, uh, the Victory shafts are uh, $160 or so per dozen, while uh, X10s are $436. Well, $436 per dozen. As at, at that point, um, you can buy a whole lot of VAPs. <laughs> uh, um, you could actually buy two and a half dozen VAPs uh, for that price. <laughs> So at that, at, you know, at this point, I was really thinking, wow, all right, uh, you know, arrow's nice and fast, um, you know, it, it's, it seems to be built well, uh, how does it group? So I did some group testing, um, personally, I, I really need to get to the point where I have a machine uh, that's going to do this, because, you know, just me shooting, I, you know, I shot these arrows a lot, I shot the X10s a lot to kind of compare it to them, um, the X10s did seem to group a little bit better um, at 30 meters. Uh, the X10s were very consistently in uh, the 9 and 10 ring. Uh, the VAP arrows were pretty consistently in the 9 and 10 ring. I get some random ones a little more often, it seemed like, uh, into like the 8 ring. But they're also, you know, they cost two and a half times less than an X10. So, you, you know... I'm not saying that the arrows are, are bad, but you know, with a price so cheap, you could you could just buy buy more of them, and and not worry about it. Um, in a in a sense, the VAPs are basically like a they're basically a cheaper, faster X10. Um, I know some people are like, oh, that's a really bold claim. Um, but you know what? 
at, at this point, um, if you're a new shooter or you're just somebody that, that doesn't want to spend $436 for arrow shafts um, and you just want to enjoy the sport, you want to shoot outdoors, um, well, even when it's shoot indoors, um, I would definitely recommend uh, the VAPs at this point. Uh, they seem to be built really well. They seem to be reliable. I still shot great groups with them, and you know, hopefully you're seeing this in some of the clips uh, that have been playing. Um, and of course, uh, I have been shooting X10s for forever, and the bow is 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 tuned very well to them. So if I you know spent even more time working on uh, the VAPs. I bet you I could probably get them to match uh, the X10s group-wise, and hopefully that's something that I can do uh, into the future, especially when I square away actually having a machine to shoot these so that we can see groups from uh, a more important distance, like 70 meters. Not that not that 30 is, is, is a useless distance. It's just not something that we shoot a lot, and we seem to judge everything from a 70-meter distance. Um, so hopefully you have some good takeaways uh, from this video. Hopefully you found my information pretty helpful. Um, I do have a spreadsheet on it and just on these arrows in general and any arrows I shoot in the future I'm going to keep adding to this spreadsheet so that way you can kind of compare arrow speed based on weight and length. Um, I also even have like the price of uh, veins and stuff. I'm, I, I got a lot going on, um, but definitely check out the archery data section at shoreshotarchery.org. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you have uh, good suggestions for, like if you have any ideas for further testing the groups, I think shooting these out of a shooting machine uh, is the better way to go uh, than shooting it with the archer. Uh, just because I do feel like there is some kind of, you know, there is a human error. That's, that's, that's apparent. Um, but uh, even with just like, just a, a, an equipment angle from it, like I have shot, I've shot X10s for like eight plus years now. It's, it's been a long time. And I've shot, yes, I've shot some other arrows in between, but basically I've shot X10s for the longest. And before that I shot aluminum shafts because I only shot indoors because I was a kid uh, so you know some of that may play into my experience maybe I'm just used to the feel of drawing back one of those arrows uh, compared to the Vaps or, or whatever other, whatever yeah, or whatever other brand is out there so I'm just trying to be very unbiased with this I don't, I'm not supported by Easton I'm not supported by Victory um, I'm just trying to provide really good feedback for you uh, the archery consumer because well I'm in the same position as you. I'm just always trying to find the best equipment that's a good value, uh, that's made well and honestly, and it's not some kind of uh, gimmick just to get you to buy things. My seal of approval goes to the VAPs if you want an affordable, fast arrow. Uh, that is very much like an X10. Is it an X10? Um, that, that, that's still up in the air, and I need to do more testing. But um, I'm definitely happy with how they shoot. Uh, you can learn more at... Uh, Victory Archery's uh, site and see their spine charts and things like that. Uh, that's included in the description down below. Um, hopefully I'll get to uh, get the time to work more with these so that I can do a really direct comparison between them and the X10s. I know some people are probably looking for more after this video. It's in, it's in the process here. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and as always, Happy shooting.